Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. This is the third video in our CSS animation series. So in the last video we had learned about property called animation in CSS and how you can use it in your web page. So in this video we are going to design this animation over here. Let me just show you the whole animation. So this is the animation that we are going to design in this video. So first of all, let me explain this HTML structure for you. So there is a division called container to contain everything. And in that there is a division called heading, which is this division over here. And then we have one more division, which is called mask. And that goes from left to right over here. And we also have an image. And this is another division called content. So let's get started. So first of all, we will create the structure of our HTML. We will create a division called container. And in that we will create a division called heading. And in that there's a division called mask. And in heading we will type GT coding CSS animations now we have another division called pick in that we will have our image and there is another division called content and that we will paste the content that we had and we will also do some changes over here we will give some line breaks and a horizontal rule that is this line over here and then we will make this strong we will make gt coding italic and here we will we need to have a blinking effect over here so we need to create this as a separate as a separate class so we will create a span for this so span class blink and place it in our span so that's basically the html structure of our web page so we will go to our css and do the styling so first of all we will move everything to the center so we will type in margin zero auto and after that we will have a background color for the body so we'll type in background color pink now we will style the container division so we'll type container and we will give it a height of 300 pixels and a width of 600 pixels margin top of 200 pixels and background color of E, e, e and then we need to have an animation that is it slides down from above so this is the animation that we need to have so here we will give a name for our animation slide down and we will have it for one second so now we will define the animation so for that we will type keyframes slide down and in that we will type 0% here we will type transform translate 0 pixels minus 23 pixels so it will be there in the beginning of the animation and at 100% we need to have it to the default location so we will type in 0 pixels 0 pixels so now if we refresh our page we can see we have the animation as we wanted so the next thing we will do is style the heading so we'll type in container heading and here we will give it a height of 100 pixels and a background color of aquamarine text aligned to the center 
font size of 22 points font family of big john and a line height of 3.6 and the color of the text to dark red and we will also have a box shadow of 0 pixels 2 pixels 15 pixels and 0.5 pixels with a color of 777 and then we will give it an animation with a name of slide down 2 and we need to have it for 500 milliseconds and we will type in both for the animation fill mode and one second delay so now we need to get rid of the shadow outside the container division so in our container division here we will type overflow hidden that will get rid of the shadow outside our container division now here we will create an animation so we'll type in add keyframes slide down to from for zero percent we'll have an opacity of zero and transform translate from zero pixels minus 120 pixels to transform translate zero pixels zero pixels so let's check our animation so we have our animation working so the next thing that we will do is style the mask division so we'll type in mask position absolute height 100 pixels width 350 pixels background color of black and opacity of 0.1 and then transform rotate to a degree of negative 45 and margin top of negative 30 pixels and margin left of negative 270 pixels so it will start from the left side and go to the right and then come back to the left side so we will name the animation mask animation and we will have it for 10 seconds and it will be linear and the iteration count will be infinite and it will be alternate so if you don't know about infinite and alternate and all these things you can watch my previous video i have explained everything in detail so now we will create our animation so we'll type keyframes mask animation and we will just type 2 over here because it is already in the start state we just need to specify where it should go at the 100 percent so we will type in margin left to 600 pixels so there we have our animation so we can see over here that uh, our mask division is going beyond our heading division so what you need to do is just type overflow hidden in our heading division and that solves the problem now we will style the pick division so we will type container pick and here we will give it a margin top of 20 pixels width of 180 pixels height of 150 pixels 
margin left of 20 pixels background so we will give it an, an image as a background so we will type in URL IMG logo and now we will change the background size to cover and we will float it to the left so that the content division will be on the right side then we will have an opacity of zero because we don't need to show it at the beginning we will show it at the end and then we have uh, transform scale to half the scale so it will have a scale of 0.5 at the beginning and then we will animate it to the default scale now we will set the animation so we will name the animation grow and we will have it for 500 milliseconds and the delay will be 1.5 seconds it will have an ease and forwards so here we will declare the animation so for that we will type at keyframes and the name of our animation now here we will type 70 percent because we want to have different keyframes for this animation so in 70 percent we will type transform scale and it will be a little bigger than the default scale that we want and then transform rotate to 5 degree now in 90 percent we need to have transform rotate to negative 5 degree and in 100 percent we will have opacity to 1 and transform scale to 1 so let's check our animation so we have our animation as we wanted so the next thing that we will do is style the content division so we'll type in container content and here we will have float of right and width of 360 pixels margin right to 20 pixels margin top to 20 pixels font family to Georgia text align to justify now we will have an opacity of 0 at the beginning and now we will set the animation so we will name the animation slide right and we'll have it for 700 milliseconds and a delay of 1.7 seconds is forwards actually we will type in both because we need to start the animation from a different position so here we will type in at keyframes the name of our animation and here we will type in from and transform translate to negative 100 pixels and 0 pixels and to transform translate 0 pixels and 0 pixels so let's check our animation we also need to have the opacity so that's why it didn't show up so let's check it again so there's the animation that we wanted now the last thing that we need to do is create the blink animation so for that we will type blink and we will set the animation and we will have it for 1 second and the delay will be 2.4 seconds and, and it will run for infinite amount of time and the name of our animation will be blink cursor
so we need to also have one more thing over here we will use step over here because we don't want the cursor to be going from zero opacity to one opacity with a smooth transition we need to have it in one step so we can type in step end so this is the same as typing steps one end so the shortcut of this is we can directly write step end so i have also explained about steps in the previous video you can check it out so here we will declare the animation we will type in keyframes blink cursor and at zero percent we need to have the opacity to zero and at 50 percent we need to have the opacity to one so that's it for this animation you can see we have the animation running we are typing 50 percent over here because we want the animation where the cursor is having the opacity zero for 50 percent amount of time and opacity one for 50 percent amount of time so if we change it to say 90 percent we can see the difference over here it will just blink for a split second i just want 50 percent so we will keep it 50% over there so let's just refresh this page and see whether we we have got everything right so here we can see we have the animation going so i hope you have learned how to create animations using the animation property in css you can experiment with this and create some complex animations and if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day